Nigeria's defence chief has rubbished a Reuters report that the military ran a secret mass abortion programme in the country's northeast. The news agency alleged that since 2013, the Nigerian army has maintained a secret, systematic and illegal abortion programme that has terminated at least 10,000 pregnancies, many of which were among women and girls kidnapped and raped by Islamist militants. Rights groups have insisted the reports be investigated, but the country's defence chief said it would be a waste of energy. From Nigeria, here's France 24's Sam Olakoya. The military has in the past faced several allegations of human rights abuses, but the allegation that it ran secret programmes under which it forcefully carried out about 10,000 abortions on women and girls is certainly the most serious. The report carried disturbing allegations, including how some of the victims died in the course of the forced abortions. The victims were said to be pregnant for jihadist groups like Boko Haram, who earlier held them captives. It was alleged that once the military rescues them, forced abortions were carried out to stop them from giving birth to children that may become jihadists in future, like their fathers. But Nigeria's chief of defense staff, General Loki Irabo, described the report as false. He said he will not dignify the report, nor will he waste his energy on it. But many Nigerians are spending energy sharing the report on social media and commenting on it. A local women's rights group described the allegations as a horrific assault on poor women and girls. The rights group Amnesty International has called on the Nigerian government to investigate the allegations against the army. The Nigerian government has so far not commented on the issue.